The Devil Commands, 1941, directed by Edward Dimitrik, starring Boris Karloff, Richard Fisk, and Amanda Duff. Stricken with the grief over the loss of his wife, a scientist moves to a mansion on the New England coast to conduct macabre experiments in a desperate attempt to communicate with the dead. Early cinema had a serious thing for scientists going too far. There's a scientist, he has some crazy ideas, people tell him not to explore these immoral ideas, uh, horror happens. Morality had a very heavy hand in guiding these earlier stories. There was actually a moral guideline films adhered to known as the Production Code or the Hayes Code, which lasted from 1934 to 1968. The Hayes Code, named after then MPAA President William H. Hayes, came into practice as a result of the film industry seeking to clean up its image, after various scandals had brought them under fire by religious organizations. Now there's two halves to this film, split almost right down the middle. The first half attempts to establish the characters in a sympathetic light, but they only come across as restrained, uninterested, and almost bored even. The second half is far more compelling and eerie, and almost feels like the beginning of a different film. Even the actors seem more interested in what's going on. Karloff seems the most hindered by the first half of the film. His performance is extremely wooden, and his subsequent motivation to contact his late wife seems less out of grief and more out of curiosity. It's a shame the two halves of the film are as self-contained as they are, because the first half honestly feels like a tacked-on afterthought and does very little to foreshadow how intriguing and macabre the second half would be. I'm not going to spoil anything that happens in this film, but the experiments they conduct are legitimately creepy and involve electricity and corpses, but not in the way you might be thinking. The science behind these experiments is very shaky, but B-movies in this era were less about the science and more about the fiction. Verdict? Recommended. With a one-hour runtime, it's easy to sit through the first half to get to the good stuff. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.